Okay, I'm gonna try to do a video for you on honey. I have a lot of questions about honey. And um, one of the first things people wanna know is what the difference is in the colors. And what colors honey is pollen. And different flowers produce different colored pollens. And therefore it stains the honey differently. So, a lot of times what you'll find is just a regular old golden color honey. And that's because most beekeepers don't do specialty honeys. They just leave the nectar all year long to be collected and then stored as honey. And therefore all the different colored pollens are in it. And later in the year, the more pollen there gets to be, then the darker the honey is. So fall honey can be very dark because it's been sitting in the hive all year and who knows how long it took them to cap that. And so there may be a lot of travel over top of those cones and those bees have pollen all over them. They're bringing pollen in. So um, if pollen falls on those combs uh, for many, many months, you're gonna get a lot of pollen in that honey. And then, um, if you have a, a keeper that does a specialty where they will put a super on specifically for a particular nectar source that is in bloom, and then you can, after that flower uh, stops blooming, then you will pull the super off and you would collect honey that's predominantly one single floral source, and therefore it could be a specific color. So usually in the spring, if you pull honey in the spring, you've got only a few floral sources and not very much time in the hives to collect a whole lot of pollen and therefore it's lighter in color. As your summer goes, it gets a little darker and then towards the fall you can collect and you get darker um, honey. So it all depends on how much pollen is in it and what the floral source was that the pollen came from. You can have a spring honey that's very dark if it's a specialty honey that comes from a flower that produces a very dark pollen. So um, I hope that I covered all those points and that you can uh, understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, the other question is why are some of them liquid and some of them solid? So like this summer honey is liquid. Mm, this is a summer honey also that's a solid. So what produces the solid is a crystallization. And how it crystallizes is another um, factor. So some honey, uh, I will show you, okay, the, this one. Some honey you'll find in a store and you will see at the top here that it's liquid and then at the bottom it's kind of solid so the two portions here the liquid it would be the fructose and the bottom here that's solid would be the glucose so glucose fructose ratio is what creates different crystallization so your glucose crystallizes and it's on the bottom and the fructose does not so it remains a liquid. So your really high fructose, non-heated honeys will remain liquid for extremely long amounts of time if even it's not heated. So what crystallizes it then is the glucose in the honey. So when I tell people they're looking for a medicinal honey and I tell them first of all in order for it to be medicinal it must be unheated because proteins denature at a specific temperature so if you heat the honey there is a very um high possibility that you've denatured your proteins which are mainly what what you're looking for there is the digestive enzymes so you want to look for a label that says unheated 
Now, even though you see a unheated label, you don't know for sure if it hasn't been uh, left out somewhere that it did get too hot or in a store if it was set next to something that got hot. One thing you can look for uh, is crystallization. It does help as an indicator that it does still have its medicinal properties, um, but that's not always a guarantee either. So your number one thing to look for is that the label says unheated, and that two, you can search for a crystallized honey. Uh, most honey that's unheated is crystallized. Uh, there's a lot more, you know, glucose than, than um, fructoses. So um, that's a sign that it's possibly a, a, a real honey and not like a honey substitute or honey that's had syrups added to it. Um, and you do want to look for that on the label as well. Um, so here would be a honey that's got a very high percent of glucose because it is solid crystallized. This one is not so crystallized or that the glucose has sunk to the bottom because it is a heavier uh, particle. But this one is the exact same. These three are the exact same. This one has a higher glucose. As you can see, the glucose is all the way to the top. This one's about a 50%. And then this one has actually been heated. And I do actually have a fructose jar that has not been heated and it's completely fructose and it looks exactly like this. So without a label, you cannot tell, is this just an unheated fructose honey or is this a heated honey? So you're not gonna be able to, to purchase that for your medicinal uh, qualities. Um, so these two, were the same honeys and one has crystallized and the other one has been heated. So you can kind of see the darker color with it gets heated, it even darkens some more. So the, the heating just turns it into a liquid again, which makes it easy to pour. I tell everybody that if you're gonna be cooking with it or if you're gonna add it to your hot teas, things like that, go for the liquid because you're gonna denature those enzymes anyway. If you wanna take it for medicinal, eat it raw, don't heat it. Take a teaspoon of it for your digestive enzymes and then eat your food or drink tea with some other honey in it. Um, okay, I think I covered color and then what we have with liquids, solids. I choose more of a solid honey than a liquid honey. And it's uh, now a natural state like this, if it's fresh off the hive, it would have glucose and fructose in it and it would look like this because it's fresh. So none of the glucose has been able to crystallize out of it. So it's fresh. So always look for fresh if you can get it, but that's usually only during the summer months. Okay, not many beekeepers are getting in the hive and pulling their honey during the winter. So think ahead, get prepared and get your honey um, during the time when beekeepers are working their bees and have fresh honey. But if you stock up, just know it is gonna crystallize. I prefer crystallized honey that is more solid. Why? Because of fructose. Uh, fructose is used by the liver, but it doesn't need copious amounts of fructose. It does need some, but any of the additional fructose taken into the body is converted into fat in the liver. So, if you take, say, a tablespoon of this honey and then a tablespoon of this honey, this honey does still have fructose in it. It's just a very smaller amount. So, it's overpowdered with glucose. So, you will know you're going to get a lot more glucose with this tablespoon than this tablespoon. There's going to be a lot more fat converted with that tablespoon than this tablespoon because the body uses the glucose as energy. So you'll burn off the glucose instead of storing it as fat. I know that's not 
great for me to say because then you're never going to buy my fructose honey, but <laughs> a lot of people do, so I'm not too worried about it. They want that liquid, um, and that's fine uh, as long as you're not drinking it down like soda pop. Uh, I think you'll be all right. Uh, it's a good alternative because you are still getting your digestive enzymes in. You're getting your um, amino acids, a lot of the essential amino acids that you need, and the non-essential amino acids. Uh, there's a lot of vitamins and minerals in there. So I'm going to say go ahead and go for that over uh, just a plain Jane white sugar product. Uh, I think I've covered everything it is that I tell people and the reasons why and what to look for. Um, I offer both heated and unheated because I do have people to cook with it. So they don't really care. They just want it really easy to pour out of the jar. And then in season, I would have fresh honey. And then also year round, I have plenty, uh, but it does crystallize. So um, if it's crystallized and you're still going to use it in your tea, that's fine. Just dig it out with a spoon. Now, there are some honeys that crystallize and it's just that perfect glucose fructose ratio that is just like satin or silk on your tongue and when you can get a crystallization like that it is far superior in my opinion for spreading on your bread and biscuits and whatever else i'll just sit and eat it by the spoonful but um you got to have a good yard um and yard meaning like area where there's a lot of wildflowers that don't produce too much uh glucose and you want just like i said an area that produces both and you'll have a super nice blend and when it crystallizes it is as smooth as you can get and it is a creamed honey that is not heated most cream honeys are heated because you have to remove all crystals from the honey before you add the seed and a seed is basically a structure that you've modified that doesn't have any pointed edges on it that they uh, continue to build the crystalline structure on. So since you've added that seed for them to build on, it won't form those sharp crystals, which actually aren't real palatable on your tongue. So that's just a little tidbit about creamed honey. Uh, cream honey is most of the time heated, so unless you see one that says unheated, then it's one of those perfect ratios, in my opinion, um, that just tastes silky smooth, and to me, it's worth its weight in gold. Um, I don't sell mine. I keep it for me. <laughs> no, I did end up having some that I did sell. We'll see if, uh, since I have a new location now, I don't know if I'll be able to produce that creamed honey uh, without heating in the future again. We'll see, uh, but that's going to take another year to find out what this new area that I'm at will produce. Hopefully it's going to be a lot of honey and the bees did spectacular this winter. It's 2023 and we had very mild, mild uh, weather and they're laying already. It's uh, February the 16th, 15th. So the girls are doing good and um, hopefully this is going to be a really good year. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, I try very hard to give you a lot of information, um, just so you can make the best informed decision for you and your health. See you next time.